and gentlemen. Yeah, been a minute. All right. We're going to do a little how-to video. Sorry about the wind. Got to find my cat first. Don't go far. He's like a dog. Look at him. You going to roll around in the dirt. Why are you rolling around in the dirt, boy? Tiger? Silly cat. Got to seen him a minute ago. He was in here wanting to go for a ride. Okay. Well, this is a how-to. How to take a tracking device out of your vehicle. Get down here. I'm going to take... Let's see. That bolt there, though. There's one right there. And it is a 932nd. Oh, may help me take it off right off. Yeah, that's the ground wire to it. That's one of the hot wires. Then there's one up behind this cover that we gotta take off. I don't have the right attachment here so it falls out on me. I'm trying to get you guys a view here. There's that. And you just come up here. I don't remember if I have to take, I think I gotta take this back off. All right, let's pop this off. He's in the back of the truck. What are you doing? Yeah, we took the topper off and then kind of got tired of it. All right, let's see. That's gotta come off. That's gotta come off. Oh, just help me think, understand this. I hope you guys are watching. Are you even looking? Come on. <sighs> Gotta be careful so you don't break it. You gotta put the steering wheel all the way down. Whoa! Why is it doing that? I got a problem somewhere here. <laughs> For some odd reason, it wants to start on its own. Hey dude, you help me? Huh? You help me or you just in my way? Okay, for some reason, I took that ground wire off. I want to start it on its own. So, let's continue by going on here. We're going to have to unhook the battery. Because that ain't good. See, I learned once before another vehicle I had that they had a tracking device in. I'm trying to set the guys up here. I learned once before that if you don't take them out after after it's paid off because they shut it off and for some reason it shorts out and it catches the steering wheel on, on fire. Well, that's why you take them off. They won't do it.
Ho, ho, ho. Wow. There we go. I'm just taking a negative off. I don't need to take the positive. There we go. Alright. I'll just make sure that it fits. Okay. Let's get back to work. <coughs> Come here, dude. Oh, you're all tangled. You're all tangled up. Okay, I'll be back. I gotta take the caddy. I'm back. Did you miss me? Okay, we're back in here. Now I'll pull the key out. I gotta take get down here. I gotta take the bolt out here. So try to get you guys in there. Can you even see? <laughs> yeah. I'm probably staring at something you don't care about. What is it? I don't remember. I know there's a bolt that holds it on there. I think it's a... Alright guys, I'll get back with you in a second. Let me try to get... Okay, we got it off on. These things are a pain in the butt because they got them, they got hooks and you got to take a little screwdriver and pry them one way, pry them the other. And then this piece, this piece right here, that lip gets up under the steering wheel. So it's hard to renewer and then you got to take your tilt button off hopefully put it back on because some reason last time I didn't put it back on all right we gotta get in here take that off oh come on what do you get 20 miles long you know I had all this stuff off before you want to see a good how-to video I got one on my page there that uh, well what, what you catching on I took the heater core out of this thing and, all right is it under here I thought it was under here okay this here where are you at where did I put that thing? I know it's in there. See, I shoved that thing back up here somewhere. Be patient, guys. I'm trying to figure this out. Yes. Uh. <coughs> Bless me. <coughs> mm. But. You can see that they spliced into my right there. Then you got that there goes to my radio. What I want to do because it's on it, my stereo is hooked to ignition on, and I don't want that. So, but I am trying to figure out where in the heck did I put that. I know you're in here. Oh, it's right there. See it? I knew I'd find it. I had a zip tied up there. Alright, I gotta go get me something to take that zip. Cut those zip ties. Okay, I just cut some zip ties. That's what it is. When you buy a vehicle, Put these dang things in here. You know, we took the ground water off already. Now, you can see where they spliced into that. That's not going to be there no more. 
that's all I'm gonna do there. I'm gonna clean it all up when I'm done with it. But now we gotta come up here. Oh, sorry guys, you right? I didn't mean to drop you. Okay, now we gotta come up here because in here you got your blue and red wire. Now they just they just put it wherever they felt like it. See it? They just spliced it in. So and it goes right into your ignition wires. So if you don't make your payment or you go somewhere they don't want you to go, like when we went to South Carolina, they shut our truck off on us a couple times after it beat a hundred times. So we had to call them and tell them, you know, just going on vacation. So they turned the truck back out. I should have right then yanked the goddamn thing out of my dash. That's the problem you have. These things short out and then they catch on fire. Guys, I'm trying to work and work with you. Be patient. All I'm doing is take the tape off. So we can get down to where I need to be. Not that hard of a job. It's just tedious. That's all. And I don't know where in the heck they went with it. Why? Will you guys please help me understand why they did what they did here? But I got taped all over this thing. People, if you do things like this, Use a wire loom, not black tape. I mean, it'd be a lot easier for the next guy. I'm not telling you guys neither to, when you buy a vehicle, see this here? I don't know what they did there. Oh, they did some crap here, look at that. That goes right into there. Got a resistor and all right in there. So. Hopefully you're watching. I don't know. I can't tell with this camera. My other camera don't work no more. It quit on me. So this is pretty much all we got is this Go GoPro. GoPro on my phone. Which I don't have no holder for my phone, so we gotta do what we got. One of these days, I'll get a real camera. Maybe when I'm rich. I don't know, they're only like a hundred bucks. A good one, a decent one. Okay, well, there that is. Now, I am just gonna open this up. Now you get in there, I got some real small, a real pointy thing. And all you do is go in there because it's got little clips. It's got little clips, you see them in there? Probably not, huh? You probably can't even see. Okay guys, we got them out. See on, see on the thing, oh, let me get this up here right See that little tab right in the middle? You just take your, I just used one of these pick tools. And I just put it in here, push that tab and pull the wire and it pops right out of there. Now I cut this other little red one just in case by some stupid chance. I gotta run one to the other. Got the battery hooked up, got power. Beautiful. And that's how you do that. 
Now I'll clean this up a little better. zip tie that up but here's your tracking device out now I'm gonna work on my stereo here See, the only time it comes on is when the keys on but I think this wire right here runs the fuse box is the main hot wire so we're gonna get into that here in a minute okay so hold on to yourself Okay, I'll zip tie that up and clean it up a little bit. But this red wire right here goes over to the stereo. So what I'm going to do, just pull that fuse out, take the wire out, put the fuse back, and just by some chance we'll see if the stereo works. It shouldn't, I wouldn't think. Nothing. Bam! Now, we go over here, I'm sitting on a milk crate guys, my back is just burning, a lot of that's due with fatness, okay where did I put that, again sorry about the wind, we need a constant power, so let's see, I know a test flight would work but we don't want it in the brake light. We want it on a fuse that ain't going to mess up nothing if it goes out. Oh, man. <laughs> you guys see a good one anywhere? Don't want it on the locks. What'd that pull out of there? That was only a 15 amp. It was only 15 amp. So, we'll go down to the bottom down there. TBS, or TBC. Okay, they're all. What the heck is TBC? Catalyte blinker control? But we're gonna just do something that I usually don't do. I'm gonna see by some chance if I just go here like so. Come on. Nope. How about now? Yep. Listen for it. Alrighty, we'll put it on this 15 amp right there. Then, not but button it back up. I'm gonna clean it up. It's pretty dirty. I'll clean all the cobwebs and stuff out of it. We'll zip tie that back up. Put this back on. It all goes back on the same way we took it off. So you guys know. And I'll get back with you when it's all put back together. I'm going to do some cleaning first because it's pretty grubby in here. Alright, talk to you in a bit. Alright guys, I cleaned her out. Nice and clean. Got dash all back together. Everything works good. This project's done. Alright, I'm happy to be done with it. All right. All right, guys, we got that chore done. So I'm going to let you guys go for now. Let the wife upload it for me. I want to thank you all for being patient. And thanks for subscribing. And if you haven't, please do. I appreciate it very much. 
leave a comment or a thumbs up thumbs down something like that but we'll see you next time bye